Here's your ma. Why are you watching me while I sleep? It's a bit weird. Here you are. <laughs> Time to get up. Drugs. Squash. Coffee with a big lump of cream in it, which I haven't stayed in properly. Mmm, nice. Good morning, and it's only just morning. It's like quarter to twelve now, and I'm doing some brunch. So there's uh, four eggs in there for scrambled eggs. By the way, this is like not just for me. <laughs> There's four eggs in there, which I'm going to scramble. Um, there's four slices of bacon in the oven, and then there's um, an avocado sliced up. And it's about 50 grams of avocado, so half an avocado. And that's what we're going to have for breakfast. That is a classic keto brunch, that one. Probably have like a little bit of chilli sauce and pepper on it as well. Possibly. Also mayo, put mayo on the side. Mm, looking forward to this. So there's brunch yummy uh, scrambled eggs nice crispy bacon and some avocado with a bit of salt and some Frank's red hot sauce on it yum yum our brunch was yummy and since then I've been a very good girl and I've listed all of those silver lots for next week I just need two more lots to do tonight and I'm going to do a couple of just little um, like vintage job lots with bits and bobs um, I think there's like 30, 35 items in there, and I'll start them off at about £15. Um, let's see if I'm... Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do this afternoon, and then I might do some of my packing ready for tomorrow. Great deal on like the pack link shipping at the moment. Um, so, yeah, get some of that done today. I've got auctions ended tonight, some of which I've already got bids on, so I'll probably pack them up ready as well. And then I probably better do some washing up. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. I'm still getting to that, like, not quite sure what to do with myself, so I might as well do some work sort of thing. I had a horrible dream last night. Horrible. Um, or rather this morning. I dreamt that I, I had to find a job and... I was like, I've got these qualifications, but I, I can't actually do anything. And they were like, do you want to work in this? Do you, you know, do you want to work back in film again? Do you want to, you know, be a journalist? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't want to do any of those things. And I was like, oh, I can maybe work in radio. Radio might be okay, but I'm not really happy. And then I, I woke up and I remembered that this is what I do. And I was like, oh, phew, thank God for that. Yay. Right. Yes. Um, auction time. That's what I'm going to list now. Right, this is my next task of the day, sorting all of this costume stuff out that I've got. Um, so I'm going to separate them out into like one bag of chunky necklaces, bag of like bangles, um, probably a bag of well, like bangles and bracelets, and then probably a bag of other and like necklaces, like non-chunky necklaces and stuff. And uh, well, we'll see how that goes. Should be a while. Right, separated out into four big bags. Okay, let's give them away. So this is just non-chunky necklaces. And there's just under two kilos in there. This is bangles and bracelets. And that's just a 
about three kilos. This is sort of chunkier and beaded and long necklaces. Uh, it's about one and a half kilos. And then this is other, so like lots of earrings and stuff in there and then bits of kiddie things and and that's about 850 grams. So, yeah, that's that done. Um, um, if there is anyone that wants like one of these bags, first come first serve, just message me after this and um, we'll sort something out. But yeah, that's that job done for the day. Okay then, it's time to do my post and then um, other than like a little bit more packaging up to do tonight. That will pretty much be my work done until sort of Tuesday the 23rd. Uh, yeah, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. But you know, what else is there to do? Oh well, right. Okay, first off going out is a pair of Monet earrings. Just like black surround, uh, sorry, gold surround a little black centre, and you're on card. We went for seven pounds. This vintage Waddington's campaign game went for twelve ninety nine plus postage. I think that cost me about pound fifty, something like that, from car beat sale. I bought a job lot of them together. Was it um, of maybe eight of them was in profit after the first one because it was hotel, and then the, there was another one that was really good in there as well. I can't remember the name of. So anyway, um, next one pair of Sphinx. Uh, mid-century, kind of 1970s, bit morning style, clip-on earrings, they went for £7. A rather lovely fire moonstone style pendant there. Pendant necklace. Like, that's rather beautiful, isn't it? And that went for £10.99, so full asking price on that. A vintage military style wool skirt. Um, the hem on it comes down, or it comes up a little bit further than the lining, so it means it's probably shrunk a little bit, but all of that has been noted um, like in the thing and photographed going like, look, it's longer. Hey, do, 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 where's this gone now? Oh, a next sterling silver bracelet, little flowers on, that went, uh, took it off for £6.50 on that one. Cool bunch of bangles, like all green. And there's like squirrely ones, ones with butterfly on, and iridescent and stuff. Kept nice and chunky. And um, sent out an offer of ten pounds, which got accepted. A bunch of necklaces. So it's just like a little bunch of necklaces in there. Um, probably sold it far too cheap at eight pounds, but. It was something I was trying, like five necklaces, and um, I got bored of doing it, so it can go, that's fine. Um, some fish and crown enamel clip on floral earrings, and they went for $9.99. It's rather cool. Uh, Ralph Weston Adelaine stainless steel 70s modernist ring. Bit fabulous. Um, that went for, I sent an offer of £9 on that that got accepted. A job lot of jewellery which is going to a subscriber, so hello! Um, what nice bits have you got in there? Oh, there's a nice beaded necklace, that's a nice big chunky one. And you've got, oh, like one of those handbag charm things, and there's some shell. Some nice bangles, I spy a little ring in the middle And... It is something with like a leopard or, or some dude on it. Well, I hope you enjoy going through that. Um, I sent out an offer of £8.50 on that, which they accepted. And then this little mother of pearl, uh, sorry, abalone shell, mother of pearl style, like just nice little collar length necklace. Uh, that went for £6.99. I'm also going to pack up some stuff that I know will probably sell tonight. So these have got bids on them. So this is just some little heart charm studs you can put on a pendant, you know, on a chain or something. 
what else? My vintage jewelry lock. I try and do a vintage jewelry lock every week, you know, as I'm going through stuff to list down, like, oh, I'll stick that in a lot or I'll sell that pepper. So I always kind of try and come up with something. So there's two vintage jewelry locks that will be going out tonight. They've definitely got bids on them. And then things that I think might sell. So I'm going to package them up just in case. There's a vintage broken jewelry lock. It's going to be fixed. Little rings lock. And hopefully this sells. A Pandora uh, solid silver bracelet with a Disney charm on it. So I'm going to package these up. It's quarter past three at the moment. Um, and then I'm going to start on marinade a mistake. Back in a bit. Right, between you and me, and everyone else, um, I was a bit silly and yesterday I forgot to take the steaks out to defrost. So I've taken them out today so we're probably going to have a steak tomorrow because I didn't want to like defrost them artificially in the microwave and then have them, you know, cook weird and stuff like that. So I'm going to make up something else. We've got to use up the rest of this cauliflower. So there's like 400 grams left of cauliflower to use. Um, and some of that ham that I bought the other day, there's like three slices left in there. And those packs of chicken. So I've got two packs of chicken like in there. So I'm going to do a sort of, oh, and I really fancied some pesto. So I'm going to do a kind of cheesy cauliflower bake with chicken, pesto, ham, and then mozzarella, cheddar, and uh, extra thick double cream uh, to make like a pesto -y sauce to go over the cauliflower and the chicken and ham. And I think that sounds quite nice. Well, I hope it's going to be quite nice. Because you know when you're just in the mood for steak, and I was like, I'm not having steak, so what else can I have? So I'm hoping that this is going to be an actual better idea than having steak. We'll see, I'm going to get cooking, and I'll show you in a bit. Okay, the cauliflower is bubbling away. And then in this pan, so it's 400 grams of cauliflower. This is two packs of that chicken. So this is uh, roughly about 230 grams of chicken. And I'm just frying that off in about 10 grams of butter. And then I'm gonna add in, I think it's about 45 grams of ham into that. And then I fry it off a bit. And then in this bowl, I have got uh, 30 ml of the extra thick cream, 40 grams of pesto, so green pesto, and then 60 grams of mozzarella cheese. I'm going to blast that in the microwave and then like mix it all together to make our topping for the cauliflower. So cauliflower done. I've put that into a nice big casserole dish and I've added in the chicken and the ham and mixed it all up together so there's like an even spread. I did check on the mozzarella stuff and I just added a little bit of almond milk because it was quite thick. So I added literally about, I don't know, 20 ml, something like that. So that's probably a lot easier to spread and I'm going to need both hands to do this, so sorry. Bye-bye. And that's it. Now we're all covered. You could, of course, put some extra cheese on the top, but it's probably enough. And in the oven until it's kind of cooked. You hear it sizzle? Damn, doesn't that look really good? Mm-mm. Right, so I'm going to dish this up with a bit of kale, and we'll try it in a sec. And I'm also going to watch Margaret. Mm. Steaming hot. So there's me plate. I've obviously got kale on it as well. Right. Let's give this a little go. So we'll have a bit of the cauliflower and the chicken and the ham. Make sure we've got some of the pesto on it. Mmm. Wow. That is really quite nice. I am chuffed with that. Cauliflower is slightly higher in carbs than some other veg. Um, so you could do this with broccoli, I suppose, if you wanted to. But, you know, it's not like a cauliflower cheese, isn't it? And uh, this is a little bit extra. But yeah. Hmm. Hello. It's weigh-in day tomorrow. And um, for a laugh, 
I just thought, with a full belly and a full bladder full of Pepsi Max, oh, hey yo, baby, um, I thought I'd step on the scales just for a laugh, just to kind of see how much your body sort of fluctuates in weight during the day. So, hmm, here goes. You can see up my skirt. So I am 12 stone exactly at the moment. So you will see tomorrow what I actually weigh in the morning, naked, after a, a wee and something else maybe, um, and with gravity in a more favourable mood. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. pretty much what I've been doing all afternoon now. <laughs> that I'll watch a jewellery videos. There was some great bird song out here a minute ago and typically just as I press record the bloody thing stopped. Oh well. As for me. As for me. Oh busy licking her bum. Well, my auctions are currently ending, and I'm just waiting for a little bit of Nick and Andrew to come on. And while uh, I'm watching, I'll probably, if my buyers pay, um, we'll be printing off the last lot of labels and stuff. And I might fix a snack in a minute, and if I do, I'll show you what I have. Well, it's a good show on Nick and Andrew. Um, they've just been showing some Spanish midwinter, which my mum collects, and they showed my mum's collection. And um, they had a jam pot, which she hasn't got, so hopefully going to um, buy that off them, which would be quite nice. And now I'm having the key lime pie flavour jelly with some cream, obviously. I think I've got like 25 grams of cream, and that'll probably be me for the night now. It's like 10 to 9. Um, yeah, let's have a try. Mm. That one's nice. That's better than the um, the Black Forest Gato one. Still not as nice as the lemon cheesecake one. Like that one was brilliant. Mm. Mm. That is quite nice. Mm -hmm. I put um, I've used Ren Skin Care Gel Cleansing Gel on my face, so I'm more. Fresh, and I've put like a Moroccan and argan, Moroccan almond and argan oil uh, treatment on my hair because obviously I bleach the shit out of it and colour it so often that you know it needs a good treatment. Um, right, yeah, stuffed again, even though I've actually only had like 1100 calories ish today, a little bit less than that, but that's generally how it kind of goes. Um, Looking forward to steak tomorrow though, so it'll probably be steak and mushrooms, tomatoes, some salad, that'll be nice. Breakfast today was lush, having the avocado. I always forget that it cuts me off when I plug it in, because it's going, do you want to transfer data? It's like, no, fuck off. Anyways, yeah, bacon, eggs and, and avocado was really nice. Um, and my weird concoction of the pesco, pesto cauliflower chicken bacon thing that was proper lush I'm definitely doing that again uh, yeah banging stuff banging food today and lots of work done today as well and lots of things watched research so tomorrow is weighing day I don't expect to have lost anything um, because of my little four day hiccup which was a shame but we'll see anyway we'll see in the morning I've got like about what was that ten and a half hours to to lose some weight so I'm I might just go and have a run. Just kidding, obviously not. <laughs> um yeah, so that's me for tonight. I hope you enjoyed this week and I'll catch up with you tomorrow with the results of the weigh in. Uh, bye bye now, bye bye. Stop, push the button, you 